This is the coolest studio ever. Did you just do a backflip? <laughs> oh, that blew my mind. The studio blows. What the? What? Oh, I know. I'm never going back to my studio. My studio is pure scum. You have to blow it up and. Uh, no. I want not. I'm not going back. I don't know what I'm gonna do from here on out. Like I will just always be unsatisfied <laughs> because this place is so <laughs> sick. You know, it's a good day when a raptor comes to pick. Oh, oh. Ah, this is a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake. Hey, hey man! I do it all day! <laughs> <laughs> Like this the good old days. Yeah, the good old days except more car seats. <laughs> I'm good. Literally, this feels like... Uh, we haven't made a video of like each of us vlogging, saying hello. Do you remember the first time you picked me up? No, I don't actually. I remember that still. This is it. Have you held this it yet? It? No, this is... Well, I, you, I, know, you know they don't send me stuff anymore. I brought a second one for you to use. <laughs> Ooh. You get an R5. You get an R5. <laughs> this is pretty sick. I think we could both use them today. Oh yes. It's a bit of a hog on batteries, so like I brought, I brought a, a, a bunch <laughs> for us, to, just so we wouldn't run out. <laughs> just, just a few. I'm not kidding, just man. In case. Like, we will probably use all of these. No. Yeah, I'm not kidding, dude. I'm not 100%. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and then I brought you some sparkling water. Ooh. See? See? Oh, oh, See? Oh, oh, oh. See? I thought I was expecting like spray. No, yeah, no, 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 no. A lot in there. <sighs> Delicious. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I think this guy lives. I think he lives in a church. All right, so. Oh, why is your truck so high? What the? What is, what is it's, uh, 37s, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna try and attempt to help Peter shoot some stuff with the new 5RC, R5C, 5RC, R5C. Some letters and numbers. I really wish camera companies would do uh, names of cameras a little bit better. Yeah. All like, camera yeah, companies. It's called like, this is the, the Canon Falcon. <laughs> yeah. Falcon 1. I'd be like, yo, you want to go shoot on the Falcon 1? I'd be like, yeah. Yes, Falcon 1. Bro, the Falcon? You got the Falcon <laughs> 1? Oh, you know who does that? Red does that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll do some shooting and I'll let you know how it is. You sounded very finished there. <laughs> Like, you sounded like Ewan Olsen there for a second. I know he's Swedish, but like... Same thing, right? I was gonna say same thing, but there's probably many Scandinavians that would not be happy with that statement. I believe this is what I will be using today. Is this the one I'm using? Yeah, I didn't set it up. Uh, I didn't even turn it on. I'm still learning how to use it, so... <laughs> it'll be like riding a bike. I don't think people realize that when I like, test cameras, I'm literally learning on the fly. Like, you, you usually don't have any extra time, so you're just like, all right, let's start shooting. And it's like, oh, how do you... How do you set this up? Well, our very first vlog interaction today, I didn't even film. I thought I was filming, <laughs> and I looked at the screen and it just said standby. <laughs> Been there, done that. All right, let's switch over to the new R5C. Yeah, it's a, it's a church. It was built in like 1891. It was an old like Methodist church and then a Presbyterian church. And uh, it came up for sale and uh, I just had to have it. I love taking a photo of someone how how I see them. Like, uh, you know, and whether that's like something that's like inspired by something very basic. Someone could have facial hair and that reminds me that they look like, uh, you know, they should be like slinging swords on a pirate ship or something like that. As soon as I have that little like hint of like one idea, I like to kind of run with it and go completely wild and, you know, act like a, you know, a, a child. Look at that, that is so I really sick. like this metallic door. What the, that is so sick. This is actually like one of the eight by 10 Polaroids I shot of like Ariana Grande's Dangerous Woman uh, cover. So I actually stole this from the set. So I probably shouldn't show that. <laughs> I 
bless the world that like someone can hire me to do a two hundred thousand dollar photo shoot. That's a that's an amazing thing. Like I, you know, what a what a great thing that like someone can trust me with a big campaign and things like that. But it's uh, yeah, it's not the it's not the end. I saw like a that Virgil Abloh quote the other day where he's like, everything I do is for the seventeen year old version of myself. Like, it gave me goosebumps. I thought I thought this was a joke, Peter. Oh no 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 no, not a joke at all. Like we might not even have enough. <laughs> we literally just set up the cameras. <laughs> I got like three shots and it's like six yeah. minutes left. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> she's blinking. <laughs> Like, you know, I see these cameras and things like that. Like, I, I really couldn't give a shit about cameras at all. Like, people will ask me, like, hey, Matt, like, what would be a great camera for me to get? Like, I, I would talk about, I would talk about, like, 1920 suiting for hours. I don't want to talk about cameras. There's nothing more boring than, than cameras. Like, that's, that's not the part of photography that I like at all. Quick update. This is the most interesting, cool space I've ever, ever seen in my life. I thought I was just shooting a camera video. No, this is something different. This is incredible. Sweet. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Nice to meet you, man. I got you too. Nice to meet you guys. That was, I thought I was just reviewing a camera today. That was an experience. That well, just like, so I feel like I, I just, I have to rethink my whole whole filmmaking career, whole life now. <laughs> like, what was that experience? You know what? Like, I'm, I'm equal parts, like, creatively inspired to the max. Like, my, my cup is full. But at the same time, it's just so unbelievably empty. Like, I leave <laughs> being like, man, do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I can't no. explain. I'm not saying like I'm unsatisfied, I'm not happy. I'm pumped, that was amazing, I'm very inspired, but like, I'm gonna go back to a place that is exactly 100% less inspiring, <laughs> yeah. to just then look at my inspiring photos. Like, I, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> All right, back to the not so cool office. Like I want a trampoline in my office. <laughs> Canon R5C is a full frame 8K camera, even in RAW, which I feel like is a little bit pointless. Uh, and I got to shoot an afternoon with Peter with this camera, and I feel like it was really the perfect test shoot for this camera. It's basically the R5 photo camera made cinema hybrid. That's what I think the C stands for, cinema. With some add-ons and some things being taken away. First off, I, I love this hybrid style of camera. Nobody, I don't think anybody has gone this far to make a hybrid camera to the point that they actually have two different menus. So you put it in photo mode, that's your normal photo menus. Then you put it into video mode and you get full cinema style menus to use, which at first I think for a lot of people is gonna be really weird and they'll be like, I hate this. But once you get used to it, I think you will love it. Even just having little things like shutter angle instead of shutter speed only. So you never have to change the shutter speed. You just set the angle and then if you switch to 120, your shutter is changed for you. You're good to go. You don't have to change anything. I also love having a full on waveform and not just that crappy little histogram. So good, well done Canon. I hope all of the camera companies do this with their mirrorless cameras. In terms of weight, I really can't tell the difference. It, it, it's probably a little bit heavier, but not like a noticeable difference. But in terms of size, there is definitely a difference because we have a fan. The image is mm, so nice. Dare I say one of the nicest that I've seen out of a mirrorless camera for a while. I really like it. And even the 8K is 
fully usable both in terms of filming with it and in terms of editing as long as you're on a pretty good machine. I edited on an M1 Max and it, and it did chug a little bit at times, but nothing that I couldn't handle. My suspicion is that if you're on an older computer, you will probably need to do proxies or at least ProRes. And those Canon colors. I know I, know I said I like Sony colors, but now using this Canon camera, I feel like Canon still has just a little bit easier colors to work with. You can totally make a Sony look just as good. I'm filming on a Sony right now, but I think it does take a little bit more work, whereas the Canon just falls a little bit more naturally to nice colors. And now we have really nice dynamic range also on this. That's one of the big things that I didn't like on a lot of these Canon, for example, the R5, is you don't have the nice C-Log 3 with the full dynamic range. Now we have that in here and it looks really, really good. Probably one of the biggest reasons I ended up switching to Sony. And interestingly, this camera is not good on battery life at all. I think it's the worst Canon camera I've ever used in terms of battery life. And usually Canons are pretty good. Maybe it's the fan, maybe it's the 8K full for, I don't know what it is. And like Peter tried to prepare me, these batteries do run out much faster, like noticeably faster. And you're actually going through multiple batteries, whereas usually I'm kind of going through like one or two batteries in a day max. I put in a full battery and it said 51 minutes and 8K. And then as soon as I started recording, it kind of jumped down to 41 minutes and then it kind of slowed down, but it was still dropping faster than it should have. So the minutes weren't quite accurate. I don't know exactly what the battery life is, but you will need a lot of batteries on this camera. And hey, they fixed two things. One being the overheating. You have a fan now that you can control. It does make some noise, but you're definitely not gonna have any overheating even in 8K, or at least I didn't have any issues. And the other thing they fixed is no wobbles, but that's because they took out the IBIS. That's probably the biggest thing that they took away on the R5C, which I kind of understand because this is more like a, a mini cinema, commercial, documentary camera. And a lot of times for those, people aren't relying on things like IBIS as much, but you do have electronic stabilization, which I at first at least was like, maybe that's better because then we don't have the wobbles and then, you know, everything is good. We're all happy but it definitely is shakier than I'm used to, even on my Sony's. So yeah, you're definitely not gonna get the same kind of stabilization, but you also don't have to deal with the wobbles, so. Also, if for some weird, crazy reason you do need 8K RAW, you do need to use an external battery, so you can't just use the normal battery pack. And I think that's great. I'm still sticking with this that I think that's great that they gave us that option. If you need to use, if you want to use raw, you can, you get to choose. Canon didn't throttle it. I think that's great. I like it. But to be honest, I never shoot raw. I would have rather just had ProRes. ProRes is so much better, high quality, super easy to work with in any editing program, and it doesn't take up as much space. All in all, from my experience with the Canon R5C, I think it's a really nice, little mini cinema camera. That's really what it is. It's not, I don't think it's the best like vlogging camera. Sure, you could do that if you wanted to, but this is a great like mini dock, little commercial cinema camera for those indie shooters where you got to do both photos and video. One day you're doing a photo shoot, the next day you need really high quality video. This is that camera, a true hybrid shooter. And I think for our little test shoot, it was Perfect. This is a great little mini documentary camera. Image is beautiful, nice and small and compact. Just stick on a microphone and you're ready to go. This whole day made me want to shoot the next episode of the Being series so badly. And we're going to Norway. Big news, we're going to Norway next week. Incredible last minute. Norway is open fully. And I even, I even bought this. It's hand warmers for when you're flying <laughs> FPV. This is incredible. All right. Thanks, Peter, for having me on this shoot. Super fun. Me and Peter just need to do more stuff together. Okay, Norway. Yes!